Hi, I'm North. For the past few months, I've been playing quite a bit of Splatoon 3. As a candidate speaker myself, I've played both the English version and the Chinese translation. And today, I want to talk about some differences I noticed in this translation. This is how I'll make the comparison. First, I will tell you the Chinese translation Nintendo gave us. Then, I'll translate the Chinese translation back into English, and then compare their meaning. Before getting into the content, I need to tell you about some indicators I will be using in this video. There are two ways to write in Chinese, traditional Chinese and simplified Chinese. I will show both ways to write the same characters and they will have TC and SC at the side. There are also multiple ways to pronounce the same character, but I will only use Cantonese and Mandarin. When I'm talking in Cantonese, there will be a C in the bottom left corner. For Mandarin, that will be an M. With that out of the way, let's start talking about the differences. We cannot talk about Splatoon 3 without first looking at the title. It's called Splatoon in English, obviously, but in Chinese, there are a few translations of it. Officially, Nintendo calls it Si Po Lai Deng or Si Po La Dun, which is basically a translation by pronunciation. There's nothing wrong with this method, it's very straightforward. However, I definitely like the other name more. Tatan Dai Zhi. Tidan Da Zhuan. It means Ink Bullets Battle. A translation by looking at the game's content. Next is the place we have all been to, Splatsville or Splatland. They both have a similar translation or Man Tui Zhen, Man Tui Zhen, or Man Tui Di Kui, Man Tui Di Chu. In my opinion, this is not a very good translation. Man means quite, Zhen means town, and Di Kui means area. However, Tui in most cases are used to describe somebody as dispirited or things are ruined. Combining the characters, Splatsville becomes the quite dispirited town. Do you think so? I can tell you I don't. Unfortunately, this name sticks around for quite a bit. We will get into that later. And then there are the game menus. In the menu, most of them are direct translations of the English word. Reading out all of them will take too much time, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the map. And status. The only notable translations on the map are Alterna, The Show, and Grisco. Alterna is translated as Wan Guy, Wan Jie. Wan means virtual and guy means dimension. So together, it means virtual dimension. Pretty close to the meaning of Alterna, I would say. The show is translated as Yao Lo Ti De, Yao Le Tian Di. There's actually a Chinese pun here. The correct name should be Yao Lo Ti De, which means an area for games and entertainment. The pun is Yao and Yao have the exact same pronunciation, and Yao means squid. So, with the pun, that would be an area for games and entertainment for squeaks. Unfortunately, the pun doesn't work with Autopus as the pronunciation is not even close. No games for Autolinks, I guess. Also, did you notice that the meaning is pretty far off from the show? That's another case of translating by content. Brisco is translated as Hong Jin San Shen Wei, Zhong Xian Shang Shang Hui. Hong Jin San actually means Mr. Grace. More on that later. Shen Wei means Chamber of Commerce. Together they form Mr. Grace's Chamber of Commerce. It always makes me think Brisco is a much larger community in the Chinese translation. Now to the status tab. The only translation worth talking about here is Table Turf. It's translated into Jim Dei Dao Si. Zhan Di Dao Shi. Jim Dei means checking the turf and Daozi means fighter. Nothing in the translation involves table or a desk or anything that suggests it is a card game. It brought me some confusion in the beginning when everyone else on the internet was talking about table turf. There is also the menu when you look at other players' inventory. The only thing I want to talk about here is the fresh button. 
this is another one of those pun like the show. Its translation, 有形有形 should have been 有形有形 It means handsome. Replacing 有 with 有 makes it handsome squid. And again, this doesn't work with the pronunciation of octopus. For the battle modes, we have regular battle as 一般比赛一般比赛 That just means regular battle and nothing special. And anarchy battles as 满腿比赛满腿比赛 Yes, it's the name of Splatsville again for some reason. Back to English, it would be Splatsville battle. Samurai has no translation, unfortunately. Now onto the weapons. I can't possibly cover all weapons here, so I will put names above all the weapons. Feel free to pause and read them slowly, or skip it if you find it boring. Better shot is reduced to best shot by only having C poli in its name. Splush and splash are named by their wide and narrow ring, on and dark. Arrow sprays have their names prepared with G, which means professional. Garlands are translated by pronunciation into garland. Jet scratcher is a shooter for clinic because chengi means clinic. Classic squiffer has an entirely different name called yao fai git alpha. And I have no idea why. E liter 4K lost its E to become Gong Zheng CK. Gong Zheng just means liter. Snipe Writer is translated into Alpen slash 5H. It isn't even Chinese, but somehow we have this name. Sloshers all end with Putong, which just means bucket. Except for the tri slosher, it is translated as Sai Batong. Sai means wash, and but can mean a wide range of pen, pencils, brushes, etc. Therefore, the whole translation means trisocial is used for washing brushes. All duelists have their weird name. Luga duelist is Ho Yiban five two five translated, which seems to be just an unrelated name. I don't know about this one. Undercover brother is translated into that old begin. Which means agents' accessories. Rasters are mostly the same, except Luna is translated into something, which means Nova Stars. That's way bigger than the moon. Brushes have entirely different names. Auto brush is called Batai, and ink brush is called Babut Law. Both of which I see absolutely no relationship between. Refresh four fifty is translated into Let's four fifty. And again, I don't see a relationship in between. The splatana obviously refers to a katana, but unfortunately, that doesn't work in Chinese. Instead, they are both called wasudo with different prefixes. Sub weapons are translated more accurately, but still, here are all the translations. 
I will be going through some interesting one. First bomb is called Bai Chok Da Dan, which means fast bomb. That's accurate for its behavior. Fissy bomb is called Tan Sun Da Dan. Tan Sun means carbonic acid, but in this case, it can mean carbonated thing. That again matches the behavior of a fizzy bomb, as it gets stronger when you shake it, like a carbonated drink. Auto bomb is translated into Gei Hei Da Dan, which means robot bomb. Angle shooter becomes Liu Xin Hei, which means line marker. Here are all the translations for specials. Paisuka is called Zhonggek Fase. Back to English, it is Ultra Sword. Wave Breaker is a bit more interesting. It is translated as Dan Tiu Sing Lap. That means Jumping Sauna. Pretty accurate description about what is doing on the battlefield. Finally, I can talk about the characters. Spoiler alert, some of this part will be related to Alterna. Let's start with the shops first. Sheldon, Oheiji, works in Able Knight or Mogei Guanbei. Ohei means weapon, and Ji can mean anything like guy, dude, kid. So Sheldon is the weapon guy. The shop's name just means Cambrian Arm Weapon. Dali Eddie, Tin Law Dimjun, Ong's Not Kutcher, Golden Ratio. Tin Law means River Snail, and Dimjun means Store Owner. Together, it is River Snail the Owner. Not Kutcher, being called the Golden Ratio is the same in the Japanese version, referring to the Golden Ratio in Nautilus Shell Spiral. Jailabra Falop works in Mano Wardrobe, Sekyat Fok Dondi. Falop is a kind of jellyfish, the flower head jelly. Sekyat Fok Dondi means old clothing store. Mr. Coco, Ye Zi Hai Xin San, runs Crush Station, Ye Zi Ke Lopo. Ye Zi Hai Xin San means Mr. Coconut Crab, referring to Mr. Coco's species. And Ye Zi Kelopo means Coconut Club. Harmony, but he works in Hot Lanterns, Long Gong Seng. I'm not sure about this part, so I consulted Encyclopedia. Apparently, Matsi is likely to be a reference of Harmony's name in Japanese, Haruko, which refers to singing in a speaking style, Palulando in Japanese. Longgongseng means Dragon Palace, which is the supernatural undersea palace of Dragon God in Japanese tradition. And then there's Mr. Gris, who we just call Hong Jinsan. That is Mr. Bear. His species is not specified. In the order of Shiver, Fry, and Big Man, their translations are Sasa, Banban, and Kwai Fuk. Let's start with Big Man first. His translation Wai Fuk is actually a reference to his species, giant oceanic manta ray, that we call Wai Fuk Gon. Except Fuk is replaced by Fuk to mean good fortune. For Shiver and Fry, their translations are actually related to their boss fights in Alterna. In Fry's battle, we fight her eels that we call Hoi Man in Chinese. Man and Man have the same pronunciation that became Fry's name. Similarly, we battle Shiver and Master Mega, which is a shark. Shark in Chinese is Sa Yu. And again, Sa and Sa have the same pronunciation, and that's Shiver's name. Captain Cuttlefish is called Yi Gon. That means dry squid. Pretty accurate with the ending of Alterna. DJ Octavio has become DJ Gai Mu Zheng Yu Zheng Guan, and that's hard to read, which means Wasabi Octopus General. If you don't know, the things DJ Octavio holds in battle are Wasabi. The translation probably came from that. For Agent 1 and 2, they are called Yaho and Yiko, number 1 and number 2. But for Kelly and Mary's actual name, Kelly is Xiu Yi, a nickname derived from Big Fin Reef Squid, Loisi Yi Wutan. Mary is Liu Ying, a nickname derived from Firefly Squid, 
型火油。The character Xiu doesn't have any meaning in names. Names are just better to be read that way. You have reached the end of this video. Thank you very much. This is my first time trying to make videos like this. If you find this video interesting, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Depending on the responses, I may or may not make a part two of this video. That may or may not cover the translations I missed, like the salmonoids, player titles, and brand names. If you want to learn about the translations I skipped, feel free to comment down below, and I will look at them. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day and happy Lunar New Year. Goodbye. Thank you.